What's up guys? Welcome back to Modded RimWorld. Something that I completely forgot to mention in the vanilla episode is there is another update to the vanilla game. Um, updated from 11C to 11D and all it did was something involving Max, so I really don't care <laughs> about it. Uh, I don't like Max, guys. And it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, you've never used a Mac. You don't, you don't know. No, I've used a Mac plenty. Um... I hate them. I feel like they are pointless. Like, absolutely pointless. Um, they don't do anything better than a PC does, and in order to upgrade a Mac, you have to spend like $3,000 on their tower or some nonsense like that. I don't know. Can you even buy just the Mac OS? I'm talking about like legally buy, not like torrent or anything. Can you actually just legitimately buy a Mac OS? I forgot that we were going to create this sort of awesome hallway in this section, and I just noticed that this cut into those plans, and that makes me a little bit sad. A little bit sad face. Um, we can still do this section, I guess. It'd be a little bit weird because I planned on having maybe a turret in the middle or something like that. Now that I think about it, it probably wouldn't be wise to have the turret in the middle because that would give them access to full cover. It would be better to have it kind of offset a little bit. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. Uh, this area was even almost ruined. I think I I, I planned for that though. Um, but yeah, I just Hunter. Why are you sad, buddy? Are you sad for health reasons? Uh, you're just feeling terrible for no apparent reason. Speaking of feeling terrible, we only have 26 medicine. Um, I forgot to look at the comments. I'm a terrible person. You know what? I'm gonna pause the recording and I'm gonna go look at the comments real quick because I always get I always get good information from you guys. Um, you know what? It's okay. You got it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I forgot to pull up was the colonist list, so if we get new recruits, I will have to pause the recording real quick to get that up. Um, it was mentioned that maybe hold off on droids, I remember that, uh, because we need AI cores to actually build the droids, and they take a lot to craft, um, or we have to wait for the evil ship to happen. Um, there's a squirrel here, Flying Gecko is doing some hauling, alright, excellent. Um, our power is going up. Is this all connected now? Power? It is all connected. Excellent. Um, there was a suggestion to see about getting some wind turbines. I can't fit any in this area. Uh, we'll probably get some, maybe maybe right here. This should still be fine. There's no, there's no roof or anything over this area. So even though it's in kind of like a little canyon, it doesn't seem like it'd be able to give you wind. It should still give me plenty of wind. Um, we might put some in this area and then connect them through here. Uh, I want to get some trading going, so we'll probably see about getting some trading going. Um, I remember the powered crafting table. Uh, it was mentioned, I believe, by Endovier that it's not a, a full replacement for the other table just because the other table lets you make tools. So I wouldn't mind getting the, the craftsman table back up in case we do want to make any tools for tool belts. Uh, so we'll get one of those back up. Um, other than that, I don't know, I kind of want to expand our defenses a little bit. I want to maybe get some barbed wire up in this section. Uh, I'd imagine sappers would go through that pretty quickly, uh, but I'd still want to do it. Um, we, I, I want to wall off this area at some point as well, just to make them take the long way around. This will be our, our main entrance more than likely. Um, yeah. Probably wall off this area and then just have our dump stockpile against that wall for chunks. That was another suggestion. Um, research the organ vats instead of um, cremation because we can turn the corpses into gel that is apparently very important later on. Uh, so Hunter is going to be doing a bit of research right now because Ghostfather, he was sleeping. He's going to go make a something. Probably a parka. A duster. Poncho. Um, I believe we need ponchos, or we need cloth to make ponchos. But I said I would check. I don't even see poncho. Alright, hang on. Cowboy hat, duster, jeans, socks, boots, overalls. Bucket. Bucket? Why do you make a bucket at a tailor's workbench? A hood? A fedora? human skull. I feel like you don't have to make a human skull. You just find one. There's the poncho right there. What does the poncho take? It takes cloth, synthra, devil strand, cloth, hyperweave, or hemp. 
so we cannot make ponchos at the moment. Uh, in the future, I would I wouldn't mind having everyone use ponchos. Honestly, um, miscellaneous. I do want to put up a rim dog for punching bag. No, hollow sweet medical dummy. That could be good. The medical dummy. Uh, we might get one of those. This trade beacon though. We'll put. We can't. Uh, it's because we have the, the ceiling lamp here. We will deconstruct the ceiling lamp, put the trade beacon there, and then go trade with these people. Hopefully they'll drop it in this area and not, like, in this area. We'll have to see how that goes, though. Um, we need that going. Smokey Dan, if you could if you could get that going. He did get that going like the boss that Smokey Dan is. Smokey Dan is, of course, Bad Luck's long-lost son. Uh, he was on his way to find Bad Luck because he heard that he was trapped somewhere on a jungle and he wanted to meet his father for the first time and be his hero and something went wrong they were attacked by I believe we said another another band of pirates you guys missed the bench or not the bench the floor by so much uh, <laughs> uh, they were they were shot down they were robbed they didn't have much they had some seeds and that was about it a few weapons they managed to smuggle off off board and that's all she wrote who is our our speaky speaker Negotiations, Amea. I believe Amea. Amea, this this calls for you. Did I just mess someone's thing up? Probably, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> Amea, did I? No, it looks fine. Amea, wake up. Can you go have a chat with Valentine? All right, let's see what we can get going on. I said I would research medicine if we get some Zeragum seeds, uh, and I mean that we will research medicine if we can get. Some Zeragum seeds. You guys don't have any Zeragum seeds. You do have medicine, though. We could get a little bit of medicine. We don't have any silver. Do we have anything we can trade you? EMP grenades. I'll give you this rifle, these Molotovs. Uh, we have an MP40. Interesting. We'll keep that for a while. We'll sell some of these weapons. This Masterwork Club. <gasps> 55 silver. Don't even know where we got that. This pickaxe we'll hang on to. The spear we'll get rid of. Um... We can always make more weapons. We have plenty of steel right now. We can we can make some primitive weapons and sell those for cash. This will give us 235 silver. I think I want to save those for Zeragum seeds. I think I'm okay with this. Uh, we should have enough medicine for a little while longer. I think I want to sell the MP40. Because our main shooters are, are happy. Or not happy. <laughs> Definitely not happy. Happy's got a construction hammer. <laughs> a rabid Jake, Smokey Dan. Uh, they have the nice AK-101s. And then next up we have HCN and Flying Gecko with those really awesome Special Forces sniper rifles we found. Um, Hunter has a rifle though. We could we could give him the MP40. You know what, we'll do that. We won't. We won't do that. Did you take my stuff? They took all my stuff and didn't give me any of the silver. It's because it's on a mountain. You know what, guys? I am going to save scum that. I I am going to save scum that because <laughs> I want to. 7.55. What time is it? It is 7.57. Okay. Sure. We'll see how this goes. They may not even show up again. Um, I am going to save Scummit though, and I'm not going to feel the least bit bad, least bit bad about that. Uh, whoa, whoa! I think it'll be fine. Everyone's okay. The traders are here. Okay, so we're gonna build the trade beacon here. And then I'll put, uh, since no one wants to use this apparently, I will put a trade beacon outside as well. Right in the middle of it. And that will happen. And that will happen. So once those get built, Smokey Dan already getting that one going. Um, is he going to go get the other one going? He is also going to get the other one going. Excellent. He's decided it's now lunchtime. He wanted to grab one of these meals. Are these are these better quality meals? They are. Why are we loading these here? You know what? Storage. Just put the fine meals here for right now. Got that trade beacon going. Let's grab a maya. I miss this hotbar sometimes in vanilla. I generally forget to use it in this, 
uh, when it would be more convenient, but, you know, I occasionally use it sometimes, and it's it's lovely. We're going to sell everything that we said before, just to get a little bit of that silver going on. There we go. There's our silver. Came in right there. Excellent. Um, Hunter, what weapon do you have? You have a uh, Siogren, Siogren, Siogren rifle? Help me. Help me, one of my... <laughs> One of my Netherland region people. <laughs> uh, I know I have people from Denmark watching. I know I do. You guys are practically Vikings from the future. Um, inertia rifle. How much damage do you do? Pretty accurate at medium and short range. Uh, 19, da 19 damage burst count of 3. This weapon bears a representation of crabs playing backgammon. I wonder how much this would be. This is like a, a really good quality weapon. Um, Hunter, come here. Dr drop your drop your gun, Hunter. Drop it, Amaya. Call them. No, <laughs> Hunter. You know, what? just keep it. Just keep it, Hunter. You can go about your business with your your ski mask on. Um, Rabbit Jake, doing a little bit of that sunset watching now, stargazing. I like our little trade platform out here. We have some steel right here in case we ever need steel. Uh, I wouldn't mind trading. We'll expand our little garden area out a little bit. Grow some Zeragum. That would be cool. Um, we are researching organ vats right now. I want to get a medical dummy up. That's right. Let's have a little practice medical area over here. Let's mine one out. Let's not even plan it. Let's go crazy. We will we'll mine out a little room that we'll use for whatever we want. Uh, medical related including medical dummy training and I feel like this is going to be very very productive uh, I still want to get the mushroom farm going too you know what? let's mine that out let's mine that out today's episode is not going to be as long as yesterday's episode um, I'm gonna try to get it around 25 30 minutes or so uh, hopefully that's okay with you guys another thing I forgot to mention in the vanilla episode is there's not gonna be a sticks today uh, there may be there's probably not gonna be it will be back this weekend at least. I just, I I know some of you guys like watching it, I just haven't felt like recording it, and I know you guys can tell if I'm not having fun, because I can tell if I'm not having fun, and the commentary is going to suffer, so I just, I don't want that to happen. I'd rather make you guys wait a few extra days, uh, and then have you enjoy the videos more. We finished Organ Vats, Minor Discovery. This unlocks the Organ Vat, which can be used to turn human corpses into biomatter and grow replacements of organs. Awesome. Uh, did we get anything else? after that. I don't think so. I don't see anything new, uh, so I want to go ahead and get some primitive weapon crafting. That way we can get our crafting skill up, maybe make some weapons for trade. I think that would be really good. Um, this droid stuff we're going to save for a little while until we're a little more technologically advanced. Um, and then we'll, we'll, go from, we'll go from there. Maybe advanced comms next. Maybe. Uh, I feel good about our trade interaction with that faction. We've struck compacted, plas or compacted steel. Uh, that ruins all my plans. That ruins all my plans. Okay, well, I want this stuff hauled away. Uh, I want these floors smoothed, of course, because you can't perform medical practice on unsmoothed floors. Miscellaneous medical dummy. A manable medical table, or medical dummy, your colonists can use to practice their med medical skills with. Oh, these are super tiny and adorable. Um, we can put We can put a few in here. Visitors are coming as well. Um, we'll put we'll put a few on this top wall up here, something like that. Maybe make some prosthetic stockpiles or, or something. We'll put a couple of these in here. Uh, we can also get the shooting ranges and stuff. We have we have the punching bag for our brawlers. We have the shooting range uh, for our non brawlers. A hollow suite we can practice social skills with. That would be good if we have a, a comms console room type area. Um, power furniture furniture porch lamp <laughs> I'm not going to put a porch lamp in here uh, I do like the yellowy glow of the porch lamp though I will say that uh, did we get our medical trays? we did get a wooden medical storage kit I like the looks of this um, I kind of want to put some here not sure we don't really need it at the moment we'll wait we'll wait on this and then we'll see about putting some in. Um, we have these, though, which is awesome. 
How's our home zone doing? Our home zone is... It's okay. It's getting there. Uh, you guys came to visit. How much stuff do we have? Security, barbed wire. Let's go ahead and put some barbed wire up. Let's, let's get some barbed wire going right here. It's pretty cheap. We'll get that in and then maybe a second layer in of barbed wire. I wonder if it hurts them. It says it just says it's impassable. It's only at 250 HP though, which is pretty pretty strong for what it is considering. And also we can do trenches, I believe, unless that was taken out. Um, I guess that was taken out. A Browning machine gun and a minigun. You guys are joking. A spotlight tower. Ooh. Support home defense in darkness removes accuracy penalty from darkness. I feel like that would be good to set up. Let's maybe set one up over here. Um, I don't know how these work, but from what I've what I've been told, they work kind of like uh, well, they work like a spotlight would, <laughs> where they will actually find the people. Um, I still need you to light in here. They'll they'll track them like a turret would, uh, from what I've been told. We get a ceiling lamp right in the middle, so we have a little bit of light to practice our murdering on. Um, let's drag this over. We don't know what we'll need to power in the future. Uh, steel. We're so close to finishing that steel. We're so close, but I can't. I can't do it. Not yet. Ghostfather's getting a bit of mining done. A bit of topless mining. We will make some clothes, guys, after we get these these dusters done. I'll go ahead and set that up. Um, and you know what? I will use the do until you have X. Um, you guys can use whatever whatever you want to make these. Um, the reason I didn't use this before is because uh, I'm not sure if it's still the case in Nomoria, but when I was playing, um, I remember the do until you have would count things that were equipped on, on the gnomes. So if you had, like say you were making uh, some axes or something, if I wanted, if I had 10 gnomes and I wanted to equip them all with axes, I would have to do do until you have 10. If I wanted to have extra, I'd have to do do until you have number or like 10 plus whatever. Um, so I just, I wanted to, I, I didn't know if it would work the same way that was like, Nomoria is probably one of the first, uh, like proper colony managers I've played. I've played like, when I was younger, I played like the Caesar games and stuff. Um, but I feel like that's a completely different genre anyways. Our batteries are full, guys. This needs power, of course. Um, I knew we would need to run power out here. Maybe this will be close enough. Just maybe. Mushrooms growing. We can't have that. Floors. Smooth floors. All the floors. I feel like we need a light in here. How far? What What is the gap here? It is a gap of 10? So you know what? We'll do... I guess something like like this. I know that's a waste um, as far as power goes, having that many lights in there. But I don't really know what else we could do about it. I guess we could just wait and have glow mushrooms grow in there. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll see how that goes. Maybe that'll work out for us. Uh, this is going to be where we want our mushrooms to grow, of course. These mushrooms, I guess we can... Can we harvest them? They all look pretty pretty grown. Some traders are coming from Kareth Fuff. Those are the people that just came to trade with us, I believe. Thundering, Thundering Kurska is here. He almost made it. It's just him. It's just him. Amea, give him a chat, please. We want some of that good stuff. Alright, what do you got going on? You have arcade games, I'm guessing. these are. Uh, you play it, simulates people, and watch as they sometimes play games that simulate people. Uh, oh, they're like proper arcades, like, like arcade machines. Okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can't afford you. Why does what like why is this grade? Oh, it's because it's expensive. I was gonna say why is it read it out like you can't purchase this? Uh, beer, TV, lavish meals, painting supplies, pile of books. Uh, we can make bookshelves with this, but I think we're just gonna wait. Um, you don't really have anything that good, sir. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, a heat wave. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Um, we need to get some some cooler units in here. 
Uh, how are we going to do this? Because I didn't plan for this at all. Uh, we, we do need to get vents in these rooms, and then we could um, put a cooler here, perhaps. And then just like wall this section off. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, for right now, let's let's do this. Because this wall's here, I kind of want to leave it there and then just leave it in like the design of the base just to have it there because it was already there. If you're given something nice in, in a house or a living environment, uh, it's nice to feature it occasionally, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I will. We'll do it. Structure for right now. We'll do uh, just a wooden door right here, and then we'll put a wooden door. We'll leave that. Yes, we'll we'll leave that. Um, hmm. How do we want to do this? Well, we need vents no matter what. Uh, so let's wooden. We can make them out of wood or slate. You know what? Let's make them out of slate. That's kind of cool that we can make them out of slate. Uh, slate blocks. Can I put them over the the wall? Nope, I have to mine it all out. So let's go ahead and mine out this section right here. Um, actually, I guess we don't we don't really need these. I'm gonna leave them there just for the sake of uh, symmetry, I guess. Uh, Amaya is working on some relations with Kareth Fuff. I believe those guys were the ones that were at like 11 the last time they came. Um, they're at, they're at minus 10 now, or they were at minus 11, that's right. Uh, we can remove these plans. Amaya, you're scaring me a little bit. Power. Furniture. I wish there was like a low powered lighting option. <laughs> Torches. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about, guys. How much does this take? This takes 75, the ceiling lamp takes 75, and the wall torch takes 75, or the wall lamp. Uh, we finished primitive weapon crafting. Awesome. Um, hmm. We'll go ahead and get advanced comms. We'll go ahead and do that. That way we can get some trading going and then hopefully get some Zergum seeds and we'll research medicine. We have lots of blocks in this area. Uh, our craftsman table is done, is done in case we ever want to make any tools. Um, we might set up a set of tools. That way we can just get some tool belts going on. Uh, what does a tool belt take? A tool belt takes... A drill, a chainsaw, and an auto hammer. Okay, what does a a drill take? A drill takes plasteel. We can't make tool belts for a while, guys. <laughs> I, I feel like... Oh, that's an advanced tool belt. Can we just make a normal? We can make a normal tool belt. Okay, so this takes a pickaxe, an axe, and a hammer. So we are going to do it until we have one. We'll just we'll do this for right now and see how it goes. Uh, a pickaxe, an axe, and a hammer. So pickaxe, an axe, and a hammer. Do until you have one, and we'll keep this going. Uh, and we'll make we'll keep making some tool belts to see how that goes. It gives a construction construction speed buff from from what I remember. Moger's sleeping in our mushroom cave. This area is walled off now. Um, we're getting vents made. We will be getting vents made. We need to get this going, guys. I should have... Did I... Yeah, okay, I put it in the right spot. Um, I should have been... I should have done this sooner. And that's... That's my bad. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, we're going to... For right now... Um, at least until we can figure out something a little bit better. We're going to slate block. We're going to wall that section off. The faction is so annoying. Everyone needs to calm down. Uh, we're going to wall that section off as well. And then we're going to install the cooler up here. Um, let's get some temperature slate vents. Let's get these going. Oh my. Everyone, everyone needs to calm down with this. Okay. It's a lot of slate, guys. Excuse me. That's a that's a lot of slate. Uh, we have slate that can get hauled away, though. 
And then I know we have the gl the glow shrooms kind of just trapped up here, but temperature. Our cave isn't too hot at the moment. It's a little bit cooler than outside. I guess the heat wave hasn't really started though. Happy. Wait, what? Oh, crap. <laughs> that's that's my bad. I cracked down the wall and it, it auto set everyone's bed as prisoner beds. Um, so that's that's my fault. It set up the whole area as a prison region. You guys are sleeping in the freezer. I feel like that's not a good idea. You're not even cold. It's not even cold in here. This one cooler can't get it down. I guess just because the heat wave is going on right now, which means we need to... How much steel do we have? We have enough steel for this, yes. Okay. Let's mine that out. Let's go ahead and get our cooler set up. I wanted to put it right here in the corner. Um, and you know what we can do? We can put a second cooler in here as well. And we may need to wall this section off. Um, I'm going to leave it on 70 and see how it goes. It's not that hot for a heat wave. Because we have this like double wall section, it's kind of keeping out some of the heat already. Um, and we're going to need to get another cooler in here as well. So as soon as that gets done, I imagine Ghostfather, who's probably sleeping once he wakes up, will probably knock that wall down super fast. Um, Ferk's Revenge. Possibly Lunch Revenge. Nope, that Ferk straight up killed this dude. Okay, well we got his stuff now. An excellent quality harpoon. <gasps> you got another one. Did that... Did that Ferks get all of you guys? We'll take it. We'll sell it. What am I doing here? Heatstroke Extreme. What about you? The Ferks and the, the Heatstroke. Man, you guys. It's not safe out there. And I mean, this this Ferks right here is just rude. Are you guys getting Heatstroke? No, you're okay. Your front paw's destroyed. I feel kind of bad about that. Uh, we actually have a rim wolf out here. All right, let's uh, let's see about getting this this sort of medical thing going on. Um, where where would you be? Production probably, I would guess. Uh, refrigerated hopper's kind of cool. I think we've had that though. Uh, organ vats. Here we go. It takes plasteel, uh, plasteel bars, which we do have plasteel. And we have a smelting furnace. Can I make? We can make some plasteel bars. Uh, I don't know if we need raw plasteel for anything specifically. If you guys could let me know if we need specifically raw plasteel for something. Otherwise, I'm just going to turn it all into bar uh, bars. But for right now, I'm going to do do until you have uh, 100. I suppose it takes 10 plasteel ore and 15 bars. So we can we can swing this. Um, do it until we have 100 stock or radius of 50. And we do have more plasteel in our refrigerator area. Uh, so we're going to get that going, and then we're going to get the organ that going as well. Um, turn human corpses into biomatter and grow replacement organs. How large are you? You're not that large. Um, we'll put you... We'll put you right here. I like it. I like it. This is going to be our medical science room. <laughs> our medical science room. Uh, the cooler is, of course, not help helping because we have all of this stuff kind of not finished. Can you? You're not a constructor. Smokey Dan, can you do this for for the world? There we go. Almost. What is happening? Oh. Wait. Did this thing get attacked by the Ferks? A man the pacifist has decided... Oh, blast doors. That's something that that was mentioned that we should get some blast doors. Ghostfather, can you come out here and, and take care of this guy before he gets away with your, your pistol? If you can't, I'm gonna have Smokey Dan come help you. I'm gonna have Smokey Dan come help you anyways. Uh, it's not because I don't trust you, but it's only because I don't trust you. Yeah, you're not you're not doing so hot with that. I feel like this is a good life decision. Um We don't want we don't want the Ferks to suffer too much. If you could go, if you could go melee attack this guy, uh, that would be great. Installed spotlight tower lamp. Minimum range of twelve. Smokey Dan, poke it with the gun until it's dead, and then if you could, you could haul him. 
And then if we could get a second cooler temperature, cooler, there we go. Um, we're going to need a door here just to help. Yeah, because this is too big of an area for just two coolers. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and get a door. This should be cool enough for these rooms, though, I would imagine. Um, let's structure, wooden door. We'll put one here for right now and see how that goes. HCN, can you? You're not a constructor. Gecko, can you? Yes, you can. Do that. Make things happen. Maya, are you okay? Are you okay? Yep, you just got a little bite scar. Actually, you're, you're fine. You're healed up. Uh, so this is cooling this area down, which is great. Um, yep, it's, it's going down quite nicely, which is, again, great. Um, yeah. We finished advanced communications. Research screen. We're going to have to save this for another time because I don't feel like looking through it right now. My brain hurts, guys. It's been a long day. Um, my brain just kind of shut off at around, at, at around 11 a.m. Because I haven't had to use it at all. Right now, words are just flowing out of my mouth in kind of this bumbling sort of manner. Uh, we, we need some plasteel bars, and we need some steel bars for this rabid Jake doing some of that work. We need to get some of these made, though, but he's making these other things first. What are you making? It's okay. You just keep doing what you're doing. We're going to get stuff made eventually. I'm actually going to set up plasteel bars higher than steel bars as a priority. Um, Flying Gecko, what's... Are you hot? You're very hot. What are you wearing? Uh, overalls, some springers. I mean, is it, is it the overalls? Is that what's going on? You, you could go topless for a while if you wanted. Uh, you have that option. I could make you wear the shirt that Rabbit Jake was wearing. I don't know. Or Ghost Father was wearing. We're going to leave it with that. I feel like that's a pretty good stopping point. Um, these two coolers are set to 70 degrees. Our batteries are staying just fine. Um, they're making it, I guess, at least a little bit bearable. Flying Gecko is not very hot, just a little bit hot. Um, I think we may add... Honestly, we're going to add another door here. We're going to go ahead and add another door here. Smokey Dan, if you could do that. Um, I think that's going to wrap up this episode, you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the longer episode today. In this episode, I feel like we accomplished a little bit. We got our trading going. Uh, we finished our our comms at our advanced comms, so hopefully we can get that set up sometime soon. We got our mushroom cave set up, so hopefully we'll start getting some mushrooms growing in that area. Uh, we have a super hot hallway and another super hot hallway, but we have a super cool sleeping area for you guys to enjoy. Um, this area needs coolers as well now, unfortunately, uh, which we could put one right here and just have it vent into this section, uh, which I kind of like that idea. And we still need to move this stuff down to the kitchen, so hopefully I'll remember to do that in the next episode. Uh, I'm actually going to set some plans up right here, uh, just in case we need to get that done. Or we do need to get it done, just just so we do get it done. I guess I'll set simple meals here too. Uh, I wish you could set like individual ones, like set one side for one type of meal and one for the other. Uh, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We have a lot of potatoes, guys. We need some more meat, so we'll probably hunt next episode, I'd imagine. Um, Flying Gecko should probably go to sleep, honestly. We uh, we really need to get... And it's hotter in this section, too. Actually, no, it's not. I was going to say it's hotter because of this, but... Yeah, we're going to need to work on some cooling, so... That will be a thing in the future. Once they go to sleep, they're fine, though. Hopefully the heat wave will end soon. Uh, this video will hopefully end <laughs> soon. I'm kidding. Uh, that is actually going to be it for me. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.